Dear fellow truth seekers, thank you and welcome for visiting my channel, Mytho Religio. Mytho Religio is a series of books about religious comparison studies between the stories in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism, directly from their sacred books and world mythologies, hence the name Mytho Religio. The purpose is to retrace the prehistory of humanity, since I am not fully satisfied with either the explanations from the point of view of creationists nor evolutionists. There are so many missing links in both explanations. If you feel the same, then you are on the right channel. In this book series, I will also analyze about the prehistory of humanity from the archaeological records, modern scientific point of view, and other alternative theories, such as the ancient alien theories and Atlantis or Lemuria legends. After thorough research of circa 30 years, I recognize many, many similarities between all religious stories and even mythologies, and surprisingly, some of them are in accordance or even beyond modern science that have been proven as correct. Thus, I came to the conclusion that all religions must have come from the same source, and all these religious stories and mythologies all the heavily jumbled up are actually telling one mega story, the true prehistory of our common ancestors. This mega story is quite different than what we have been told to believe and will truly blow your mind as it is more fascinating than our imagination. If you have watched the earlier videos in this channel, I believe you can see some of the similarities too. If you haven't and you truly want to do a religious comparative study, I suggest that you do so. The best way to do a comprehensive religious study via this channel is by watching the videos starting from number 1 and continue until this present video and so on. That way you will see a clear pattern. For deeper analysis that I cannot share in this platform due to its sensitive nature that leads to the above conclusion kindly read the books that are available in ebook format that can be found in my website www.mythoreligio.com or the physical books at Amazon in color or black and white version. Dear fellow truth seekers, This is the 12th video of Mytho Religio series that is a replacement of the original video concerning the story of the ten lost tribes of Israel that I had to take down due to copyright issue of the background music. Therefore, this video is not arranged in a proper numbering sequel. Now let's begin with the story. After the death of Solomon, circa 931 BCE, all the Israelite tribes except for Judah and Benjamin refused to accept Rehoboam, the son and successor of Solomon as their king. The rebellion against Rehoboam arose after he refused to lighten the burden of taxation and services that his father had imposed on his subjects. The United Kingdom fragmented in a civil war into two kingdoms which were led by many kings on both sides. Here are the two kingdoms. One, Kingdom of Israel. Capital, Samaria. Location, North. Tribes, the ten northern tribes. Ended at circa 722 BCE by the Assyrians. Kingdom of Israel fell under the captivity of Assyria, part of modern Iraq, ruled by King Shalmaneser. He invaded the entire land, marched against Samaria, laid siege for three years and deported the Israelites to Assyria. The ten northern tribes never had a foreign edict granting permission to return and rebuild their homeland. Until today, their whereabouts is still a matter of debate among historians and biblical scholars. The second kingdom is the Kingdom of Judah. Capital, Jerusalem. Location, center, and south. Tribes, Judah and Benjamite. Ended at 586 BCE by the Babylonians. The kingdom of Judah fell under the captivity of Babylon, 
also part of northern Iraq, ruled by King Nebuchadnezzar. He destroyed the first temple in Jerusalem which was built by Solomon, transporting to Babylon all the treasures of the temple, treasures of the king's house and all the vessels of gold which Solomon had made for the temple. Then Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem and broke the city walls. Almost the entire population of Judah were exiled to Babylon, some fled to Egypt. The exile ended in 586 BCE with the fall of Babylon to the Persian king Cyrus the Great, who gave the Jews permission to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the second temple of Jerusalem. The temple reconstruction was finalized in 515 BCE. The Ten Lost Tribes of Israel here I would like to share some important information for our study concerning the story of the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel. This phrase is not explicitly found in the Old Testament. The event is told in the book of 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 31, where the Lord would tear the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and gave ten tribes to Jeroboam. Jeroboam was the first king of the northern Israelite kingdom of Israel after the revolt of the ten northern Israelite tribes against Rehoboam, son of Solomon, that put an end to the United Kingdom of Israel. The following is from Wikipedia. In medieval rabbinic fable, the concept of the ten tribes that were taken away from the house of David, who continued the rule of the southern kingdom of Judah, becomes confounded with the accounts of the Assyrian deportations leading to the myth of the Ten Lost Tribes. The recorded history differs from the fable. No record exists of the Assyrians having exiled people from Dan, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, or Western Manasseh. Descriptions of the deportation of people from Reuben, Gad, Manasseh, and Gilead, Ephraim, and Naphtali indicate that only a portion of these tribes were deported and the places to which they were deported are known locations given in the accounts. The deported communities are mentioned as still existing at the time of the composition of the books of Kings and Chronicles and did not disappear by assimilation. The Jewish tradition held until modern times that all the population of the kingdom was deported by Assyria, never to be heard of again. They are considered the Ten Lost Tribes. Another common belief or prophecy is that the Ten Lost Tribes will gather back in Jerusalem as one of the signs of the coming of the Judgment Day. The Jews It is also quite important to know concerning the term Jew. The word Jew is only applicable to the descendants of Judah, a small portion of the overall people of Israel. In fact, the major portion of the house of Judah was also never referred to as Jews. The word Jew is only used by modern translators in regard to the descendants of Judah who returned from the Babylonian captivity. Herewith, I'm ending this short video. Kindly watch video number 13 to continue with the story of the latter prophets of the Hebrew Bible, or the Old Testament. Thank you for watching and hope to see you on my next video.